Hello, this is Priscilla Batzell. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. This is some gr green frog tape that I think is probably, oh, half an inch. Anyway, so my plan is to create some wedge shapes. I'm wanting to do this for a while. And I figure I'm just going to do this and fast forward through. I just haven't made up my mind completely what I'm going to do. So I'll be back in a minute. So paint, paint, sorry about my head, no paint. So I'm back and I've picked out some colors over there. And this is my smaller OXO omelet turning flip and fold special. And I've added a few X's on places that I don't want to put paint, but <coughs> I don't think it really matters. <coughs> Excuse me, because I may change my mind. So I'm going to just start on the left hand end so I'm working out of my way into, instead of into my way. I've got some interference gold. I feel like doing them all in advance, but I'm not going to. This is Dancing Plum, excuse me, Dancing dancing Fuchsia, and uh, it's from the new Curly Pigments. That's not coming out. It seems a little plugged. Now, I've tried to press all my tape down. I hope it works. I'm just going to take the top right off of this. Oh, I have a rather large clot in there, which would make getting anything out rather difficult. So I think that'll work a whole lot better this time. Let's do two of these at a time. Maybe facilitate time a little bit. More of the interference gold, if I didn't say. I go for a little Snapdragon primary element. I will put the colors underneath the video. I don't believe I need very much of anything. That's not working any better than the other one did. I want some orange crush. got a little bit of, hopefully, without that shiny taffeta. And I have no idea how this is going to work and I'm getting nervous about it. This is Mystique. This is a primary element. Which is, like the rest, a little bit closed. Those ones over on one side I need to work on. This is deep, excuse me, this is African violet. I was going to say it was deep amethyst, but it's not. This is Cupid's Crush, which I want a little bit of Chantilly lace with. I don't even know if this is going to work. I thought maybe if I don't successfully spatula things, which is always a op possibility, I could probably swipe. I'm really nervous about this.
I don't feel like wasting any beautiful colors combinations. So I'm going to wipe off my excess right over there. Because I can. Try not to get any paint in the other spots. I suppose if I leave it heavy enough, I could still swipe. I'm going to steal a little paint. I think that's the way to go. Just dab and daub. And use the excess. Right there. Wherever there is. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but it might be really interesting to find out. So I guess we'll find out together. And I suppose if I thought about it, I could have just planned on putting a few dollops of color here and there. Like more shiny taffeta here. And then wiping off the other colors. Shiny taffeta. Let's go for more Cupid's Crush. A little bit of African Violet. Some Chantilly Lace next to this. Some Prism Pour Parrot Wing. I've got some Bobbing for Apples. And I suppose I could go back after I'm done with the first round and add some more things. What did I do with that Snapdragon? There it is. I love Snapdragon. <laughs> and Mystique. I'm going to snag a little bit of paint and put it right in that, right in that little point. Because after all, why not? I could actually use my fingers to do this. Or oh, that's the thought. Come on, how'd you come? There we go. So I've got a little bit of red violet, which is probably pretty close to that bobbing for apples, actually. I haven't used any jasmine, but that's because I had the dancing fuchsia out. I know I have enough color there now. I think I need some orange. Don't mind leaving a few black spaces, or at least that's the way I feel about it right before I find out that I might mind afterwards. So let's use a little more orange. I didn't 
put any Fandango in. But I can always add colors afterwards. And I thought about maybe putting dots in the spaces. We'll see how it looks before I make that decision. Oh, I'm... Okay, I screwed up. Somebody saw that and like, no! <laughs> Too late. Fortunately, Sidewalk Shark doesn't have a lot of problems being coming absorbed by an abundance of, of uh, acrylic paint. I want some more interference gold. And I'll have to decide if I want to fill in or not. I'm going to grab a little more Cupid's Crush. I could just go back and fill in everything. It's the way I'm feeling about it, honestly. Cupid's Crush and... Chantilly Lace. Dancing Fuchsia is coming out easier. I haven't put any Sour Lemon with Holly Berry in it. I don't think a little bit of Brightness is going to hurt anything. Kind of liking what I've got so far. Anyway, I still want some more shiny taffeta. And with it, some orange crush. I think a little more parrot wing or the snapdragon's coming, but right now this is the African violet. Parrot wing, prism pour. Somehow I knew I was taking a risk. And I do use GAC 800 in all of my paint mixers, so I can leave colors like putting the uh, sour lemon down isn't that risky. So should I or shouldn't I do the extra spot? I kind of feel like I shouldn't. <laughs> Hard knowing. Alright, I'm going to grab my Princeton Artful Catalyst spatula. And I've got a Q-tip in case things aren't working out for me. And I think, really, you could do anything you want with these. Like, running a basting brush through them or dotting them. I see no reason to waste any paint. So I will just take all of the extra paint off my spatula. Make sure I've got the tips on all my points. Hopefully not so much paint that it'll make a mess. I kind of like it just the way it is. Maybe it's time to find out if this is going to work. I kind of want to take away the... Um, the X's first. Let's find a paper towel that's somewhat clean and utilizable. Drop of water. All right, so here goes nothing.
stick that. And I'm hoping that if I have little bits of paint like that right there, that I can just clean it up with a Q-tip. And in theory, I should be able to cover it with some black to camouflage it. Make sure there's no paint on my finger before I put it down on the canvas. Got a little bit of chalk. I wish I could reuse the tape. Kind of neat. I like it. And so far, I've really not had to do much Q tip cleanup. How do I get that up there? <laughs> there we go. I like the mix of the round shapes with the hard edges. Usually, I'll try and avoid the hard edges. And like I said, this could be stage one if I wanted it to be. Not very much paint went underneath the tape. I did a fairly decent job of holding it down. I like that a lot. It doesn't keep me from thinking about dots, but I think it's good for now. Could also put lines in across. I like the mix of colors. I think they're beautiful. There's a 20% off color art coupon code underneath the video in the description, right alongside a 10% off Pixel Paint Designs coupon code. It'll get you Australian Floetrol and Boom Gel and Pebio paints. That's cool. I like it. I wish I had done it without making a mistake, but I could also wait till it's dry tomorrow and go back and fill in and uh, do more wedges. But I like the negative space right now. And hopefully you do too. So I post at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, you can find those posts. You can find the announcement for that on my community board. Come on, let go. Along with um, members video announcements as well. Please give me a thumbs up. When you share my videos, you help me out. When you uh, watch them longer, it's the biggest help of all to speak to the algorithm. This is beautiful. I love the colors, but the colors are fantastic. This is sort of bugging me. I kind of want to put something in there so bad right now, I can't tell you. And maybe I could, but I have to wait till it dries now that I've made that mistake. So, I'll either show it to you this way, or you'll see it with another wedge in that spot. And... Um, I love you guys. I'm totally distracted right now, so check on my Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. They're all on the link tree, along with my email address, E-I-S, P-B, and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I do sell my artwork. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the members, the patrons, and the people who donate through PayPal. You're the only thing keeping me here on YouTube, so just know that I'm appreciative endlessly. My community board will show you tomorrow's video also. Did I say that twice? I probably did. Questions are welcome and encouraged. I love you guys much, and I will see you anon. Whatever I'm forgetting is that I have 33 playlists with 100 videos on them each. Everything is also organized by me by topic and genre. So if you have a topic or genre that you like, just ask me, and I'll give you the link. It's no problem. Uh, your comments are not just welcome, they're encouraged. Your questions are not just welcome, but encouraged. Your comments keep my morale boosted, and I really appreciate that. So I want to say thank you again, and my paint pouring recipe is below show more. Um, I, whatever I'm forgetting is everything can be reproduced on one of the places on my link tree, like Pixels.com, Fire Nerd America, Society6, The Gallerist, or Spring. And uh, I'll see you guys anon. Bye for now.
Priscilla out. I hope you come again.